he did, my mom actually taught my dad English, so it's it's a cool story. But I don't know a word of French. A couple swear words. That's about it. Yeah. Playing on the Quebec League, but that's about it. Yeah. How do you how do you thrive and survive in the Quebec League without speaking any of the, of the language? Well, you wouldn't believe it, but the Quebec League is more English than anything. Our team was 95% English this year. Every English, every French player can speak English in some way. You know, Hubert is one of the examples. He has a tough time with it, but. Uh, no, honestly, our team was uh, completely English. We're coaching English and, and everything, so uh, it's not that hard. What, what a team you have. I mean, what yeah. kind of a run you've been on here. Yeah, it's been crazy since Mem Cup, two days off, combine, and I've been going right till here. So it's been uh, it's been a crazy roller coaster, and uh, I've been fortunate to share with guys like Hubert O and a couple other guys on our team. So it's been crazy. Uh, I am just feel very fortunate to be here, and um, I'm excited to, uh, to experience it tomorrow. As far as this year with, with your team, when did you know, when did you have a real feeling that this team was special and you could maybe do what you did? Um, after last year, I knew uh, we were losing a lot of tough players, Hoffman and Peterson and Cousineau and guys like that. It was tough, but you know, the first 10 games in when we uh, we hadn't lost yet, it was, you know, we knew something, we had something special and uh, we were beating up on teams pretty bad and, you know, we, we really knew that uh, after Christmas we were going to add some uh, players to our club and we were going to be special. What about Hubert asked him earlier about the progression, he kind of, it was a launching pad for him this mm -hmm. season. What did you see? You watched every practice, every yeah. game. Well, yeah, I think he was ranked at the bottom of the second round of the season. Now he's Michael first overall, so it's been crazy. He's worked so hard. And, you know, I, Hubie and uh, Mir, we've grown really tight this year just with all the things that have happened. So I can't say enough good things about him. He deserves everything he gets. He works so hard in practice. He never takes a day off. So he really deserves everything he's getting. So you've only met with 27 NHL teams? Or yeah. Something? I don't know what happened to the other three. Where are the other three, right? <laughs> no, one wasn't at the Combine, and then the other one I met uh, – at an alternate visit, so I only didn't meet with one team, and they're my favorite hockey club. So <laughs> get that, yeah. And that is Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, I grew up. Uh, I was the biggest Detroit Red Wing fan ever. But well, I uh, think they know what they're doing. They yeah. probably know. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. They didn't catch. Uh, they didn't get to meet with me, but that's all right. Uh, well, we'll see. Do you have any kind of a? Is it, is it possible to get a gut feeling from the meetings, or? Um, you know, some meetings you feel really good coming out of, and some not so much. Um, it's it's been uh, it's been pretty good, positive on my part. You know, I, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I, I went to the draft last year with my agency, and you know, I saw Cam Fowler and Brandon Gormley slide ten spots. So you never know what's going to happen. I'm just uh, looking forward to uh, to uh, the day tomorrow. Hey, Finesse the combine. Did you go to Buffalo? Yes, I did go to Buffalo. Yeah, sure.